So Matthew 5, 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. So this blessed are the peacemakers is another um, attitude the believer is to have toward others. I mean, the believer is supposed to live peaceably with other people. We're not supposed to be uh, arguing or debating or in contention or strife. I mean, we should try to prevent any kind of strife or contention. And we should try to get along with others to keep the peace. I, mean, I know there's times that we're not going to be able to avoid it, but we should try everything that's in our power to avoid any kind of uh, strife. We need to try to promote peace when we see strife. So if we, you know, if we're noticing people not getting along, arguing, maybe it's time for us to be that third person to kind of, to kind of be that mediator in between two parties. Paul tells us in Romans 12, 18, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. So basically he's saying, if it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all people. So basically he's trying to tell us that we need to do our part in living in peace with other people. Now we should not do anything through strife or vainglory, Philippians 2, 3. And James tells us that where there's envy and strife, there's confusion and every evil work. And the writer of Hebrews tells us to follow peace with all men. So, so this is a characteristic of all believers to try to be at peace with all people. So Jesus says, how happy are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Now being a peacemaker does not make you a child of God, or does not make you a son of God. But this is um, a characteristic of a person who has trusted Christ as the Lord and Savior. When you, when you become a believer, then you become a son of God, or a child of God. But so this is a, a characteristic that a believer is supposed to demonstrate throughout their life. Mm -hmm. or, you know, people should know us as peaceable people. They should be able to depend on us. Yeah. They should be able to, our reputation our, um, should be such that people can't blame us for any wrongdoing, any faults. I mean, we should not be blamed for a, a cause of argument or disagreement between people or, or between us and somebody else. But this is a quality that the believer demonstrates when he or she is wronged or mistreated. When we face a persecution, I mean, we don't retaliate back. We don't, you know, argue with them. Yeah. We just, I mean, we just pray for them and live at peace with them the best we can. And when we go through hard times, I mean, sometimes people wonder how you can have peace when you're going through the, the toughest of times, but, you know, it's because of we have peace with God. Jesus gives us that peace. So the believer can have peace with others because he or she is at peace with God. And this, yeah. is, a, this is a mark of a child of God. You know, uh, when, you, when you have peace with God... You live at peace with other people. Sure. Now, peace is one of the fruits of the Spirit in Galatians 5.22. So when a person becomes a Christian, he or she relieve, re, re, receives this fruit, this gift, just as he or she does all the others. Someone wants to describe these fruits of the Spirit as a, uh, like a bouquet of flowers. You don't just get one of them or two of them. You get all, all of them. You get them all at one time. When you live at peace, you don't, you're, you're not going to be arguing or complaining or murmuring. And if you're, uh, if you're living in peace, or if you're a peaceable person, 
you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, mm. among whom you shine as lights in the world, as Paul tells us yeah. in Philippians 2, verses 14 and 15. So a son of God or a child of God will promote peace everywhere we go, and we will live worthy of being called a child of God. So the question is for you today, are you living with peace with others? Or are you a source of contention, a source mm -hmm. of strife? Are you, are you the one that's causing trouble? Mm -hmm. Or do you seek peace? Are you living in peace? Do you have peace with God? And that peace only comes through Jesus Christ. And when we have peace with God, then we can live in peace with others. Right. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father in heaven, we pray that as we uh, live our daily lives, whether we go to the store, whether we go to um, work, school, whether, it was, whether we're with family, we pray, Lord, that we can be peaceable people, that we can live with peace, pursue peace, to live in peace with other people. Lord, we pray that we can be lights shining in this dark world sharing your word with others everywhere we go we pray this in jesus name amen